You might casually say you're addicted to chocolate, but being addicted to cocaine suggests something far more serious, that the addiction is compulsive, meaning a cocaine addict takes cocaine despite harmful consequences. In a paper in this week's Science, Barry Everett and colleagues report that such compulsive drug use in rats may be predicted by whether the rats are highly impulsive. The research supports observations in humans that suggest that highly impulsive people are overrepresented in drug-addicted populations, and the research may provide some insight into the neural mechanisms of drug addiction. And so what criteria does a rat have to meet in order to be considered addicted? Well, it's conceptually difficult to actually get to the state of describing an animal as addicted rather than just having taken drugs. So the way we've operationalized this is to say, to take one characteristic from the diagnostic manual of addiction or or substance dependence, as it's called in the United States, which is assisting in seeking and taking drugs despite adverse or aversive consequences, which in humans could be a variety of forms, losing friends, losing family, losing a job, losing money, losing health. And despite knowing those outcomes, individuals still persist in taking drugs. So we've modeled this in rats by when they've had a long-term exposure to the drugs, seeing whether they will continue to work in the environment to make responses even though sometimes those responses result in mild punishment. What we use as a mild punishment is a mild electric foot shock to the feet, which is certainly not high enough to stop them doing anything because they still respond for drugs, but is an aversive outcome to their drug-taking responses where none was there before. And that's the shift to this compulsive behavior when it's irresistible and against one's best interests. Exactly. Exactly. So that's what we've tried to model. And we we think that captures actually elements of that characteristic in human addicts. And we used a couple of other measures. They were developed by David Berlin, who's the lead author. But the one we think really captures the notion of compulsive drug taking is this persistence of the behavior in the face of adverse or aversive outcomes. Does this behavioral observation shed light on what's happening neurologically with impulsivity leading to compulsivity? Well, not yet. That's where we're going now, trying to understand what the neural basis of compulsivity is. But we do know a very interesting fact about these impulsive animals. And in that study, we made the observation initially that these impulsive animals escalated their cocaine intake much more rapidly. By escalating, I mean in a unit time, they take almost twice as much drug as non-impulsive animals. And that impulsive animals, again, long before they'd started to self-administer cocaine, have very low levels of a particular type of dopamine receptor in a part of the basal forebrain called the nucleus accumbens, which has long been known to be important for the effects of addictive drugs. And their impulsivity is correlated with the level of those receptors. And that actually predicts the tendency to escalate cocaine intake And it now can be seen as a predictor of eventual transitions to or switches to addiction or compulsive drug seeking. I think the issue with human addiction is that it's often said that those individuals who are addicted are impulsive or sensation seeking. But it's never been clear, I think, until this study, whether that impulsivity and sensation seeking is a cause or a consequence of their chronic drug taking. And Of course, the big issue with clinical studies of addiction is your starting point, by and large, is individuals who are addicted. So it's very difficult to look back in time and ask the question about their behavior before they started taking drugs. And I think a key advance is in this study is we can now see that individuals who can be described as impulsive or sensation-seeking when they're in the addicted state may have had that characteristic before they started taking drugs. 
So it may actually be a part of the causal mechanism in their propensity to develop addiction. Well, Barry Everett, thanks.